In the second video of mathematical induction, uh, we're going to prove one more result, which is very interesting, which says that prove that prove by induction that the sum of cubes of three consecutive natural numbers is divisible by nine. What this means is, for an example, what they're saying is one cube. Let me write a little bigger. This basically what they're saying is one cube plus two cube plus three cube would be divisible, would be would be exactly be divisible by nine. If you start with two, it is two cube plus three cube plus four cube would be divisible by nine. I'll show you. Let us use a calculator. It's always good to check first to understand what they are trying to. So one cube plus two cube. Sorry. Uh, delete. Plus three cube should be divisible by yeah nine. Thirty six is divisible by nine. So what happens if it is two cube? Let me delete it. Two cube plus three cube plus four cube. This is also divisible by nine. So that's what we want to prove it. Okay. So we have tested in one and two. So that's how you generally start. Okay. So so we have to make a statement. So this is a basic statement. We are saying okay p of n. Okay. So this is the uh, principle of mathematical induction, uh, and we are saying making this is a statement. This is a root statement. The p of n, the sum of cubes of three consecutive natural numbers, is divisible by n. That's our statement. Okay. So we start always with p of one. So p of one, the same thing can be written as sum of cubes of the first three natural numbers, is divisible by ni nine. That's what we just saw now. We have to show this 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube is 1 plus 8 plus 27, which is 36, and 36 is divisible by 9. So p of 1 is true. Okay, we are quite happy with p of 1. Now we have to go p of, make a statement of p of m. And we have to say, okay, let p of m be true. Okay, so what is p of m? The statement would be sum of natural numbers starting with m. Okay, m is of course a natural number. M belongs to n. R divisible by, or I should say, is divisible by. I should say is divisible by nine. Okay, that's my statement. Okay, now what happens? So that's what they're saying. The same thing can be written as m cube plus m plus one cube plus m plus two cube is divisible is divisible by 9. That's the statement. We're accepting it. So, and then, and if it is divisible by 9, this number should be a product of 9, should be a multiple of 9. Okay. So, we are saying, okay, then that is 9 lambda. So this is a, a Greek letter, lambda. And we're saying lambda belongs to n. That means, if this is 4, m is 4, 4 cube plus 5 cube plus 7, 4 cube plus 5 cube plus 6 cube would be 9 times some number. Okay, or in other words, it will be a multiple of 9. Okay, what happens now? This is the main part. What happens if it is p of m plus 1? So m will be replaced by m plus 1. So m replaced by m plus 1, this will replace by m plus 2 cube. Now, simple expansion. So I'm not doing anything to this two. I'm keeping this as it is and expanding this. So this this can be expanded as m m plus three times m plus three squared. So let me write that. So this can be written as m plus two times m plus sorry m plus three times m plus three squared. And m plus three squared is yeah. Okay. I'm going, going very slowly. So that expansion, m times m squared is m cubed, m times 6m six is 6m six, six squared, m times 9 is 9m, 
3 times m squared is m squared, 3m squared plus 18m plus simple expansion of two brackets. So what happens? Now in the next step, I simplified, yeah, nothing nothing great here. This two simplifies to this two simplifies to 9m squared, this two simplifies to 27m. So nothing great there. In the next step, I have made a slide, I have factored out a 9 from this group. Factored out a 9. So if you factor out a 9, it will be m squared plus 3m plus 3. Okay. The next step is interesting. What I've done is I've written this first. m squared plus m plus 1 cube plus m plus 2 cube plus the same thing. Okay, now you have to go back. Now this, we have made a statement about this. If you go backwards, let's go back. What did you see? This is 9 lambda. So in place of this, I can put 9 lambda. So if you put 9 lambda there, it's 9 lambda plus 9 times this. A lambda is a natural number and m is also a natural number. So what will happen if you factor out the 9, you get lambda plus m squared plus 3m. So this is also a natural number. So natural number times 9 would be a natural number or a multiple of 9 and also a natural number. So we can say this is a natural number times 9 would be a multiple of 9. So what have, what, what have we proved? We have proved that m plus 1 is also a multiple of 9 and that is enough. So we can say okay that this implies p of m plus 1 is divisible by if this is a multiple of 9 p of m plus 1 is divisible by 9. So let me remove the veil and finally we say this is what we made a statement. We accepted that p of m plus 1 is true and we have proved that p of m plus 1 is also true. In We started with we proved that p of 1 is true. We proved p of 1 is true. So if you look at the way in which mathematical induction works normally, you start with p of 1, then you accept p of m as true and then you prove p of m plus 1 to be true based on p of m. And this is enough to say if that is so, p of 1 is true, p of m is accepted accepted to be true and p of m plus 1 is proved to be a divisible, proved to be divisible by 9 means by principle of mathematical induction p of n is true. Okay, that p of n, what's p of n? p of n is true means p of n was the statement that sum of cubes of three consecutive natural numbers is divisible by 9. Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the